All right, quickly before this tutorial starts, I want to tell you that this piece, this uh, procedural material you're about to learn, is just a small part of the course that I just released with MoGraph Mentor. You can get that in the description, so that's why it's going to feel like you're jumping in the middle of something. But yeah, this is my fingerprint tutorial. Check it out. The, uh, with EV you can kind of get bogged down. What you can do is you can hit H right here on one of these objects, so I'll click him, hit H, and now you can see he's gone from the eyeball here on the outliner. You just click the eyeball back to retrieve him, and say you have one of these objects that is parented and you hit H, you can see nothing happened, and that's because your control objects, your objects are inside of this control. You can click that just like that, have some fun. So let's go back here and play with the glass. So I'm gonna click new, and to make glass, very simply, you bring up your transmission, and I'm gonna bring down my roughness like this. So what we're gonna do is just play with the roughness for this to work. So shift A, color ramp, just like we do always, and we'll plug the roughness there, and then let's go ahead and get in a magic texture. Super fun. So magic texture, control T, object, let's bring the color, straight into the color ramp so we can start playing with roughness. So now you can see it's working. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a depth of four to add some detail within here. And then let's go ahead and play with this distortion till we get these weird fingerprints. And then we're gonna bring it up like this so we can kind of have this idea of fingerprints but not really get real fingerprints. It's a really fun way to kind of fake it. So now we have this. What I wanna do though is kind of make it kind of rough and messed up. And what we're gonna do is get in that Musgrave again, M-U-S, Musgrave texture. We're gonna plug the mapping here into the vector and we're gonna replace this really quick to show you the texture we're making. So right now you just kind of see the Musgrave acting kind of gloppy, dimension down to zero, detail all the way up, and then the, the, um, the scale at 0 0.1. So now we have this, the goal is to apply that material on top of these fingerprints to kind of rough them up and grunge them out. So what we're gonna do is get the mix RGB again. And so what the goal of the mix RGB a lot of times is to mix color data together. That's why it's called mix RGB. And so what that's gonna do is allow you to mix these two guys. And sometimes you can get real fancy and use these blend modes. We're not gonna to touch those. That's a whole course in and of itself. Let's plug the height into color too. And so now you can see they're mixing together. So using the factor, you can just kind of bring it in as much as you want. And I'm gonna bring in this color ramp like this, and then bring it in like this to really accentuate what's going on within these two interacting, these two textures interacting. And so I can just bring it in 